Okay, so far, Ray. Right, Bob? So far. Inhale. Exhale. I don't know. It's disappeared. Make it broke. Maybe you have to get another one. You miss it. Do you want it much air as you can inhale and exhale? Next Tuesday, are we? No. And of course, you know, we're closed on Thanksgiving Day. So good you're here today. Good you're here today. Now, shrug and push down. Push, push, push. And shrug. And push down. Push, 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 push. Get those ears close to those shoulders. Looking up, getting into the shoulder and back muscles. 
skip back a little bit. Let's pick up one weight for the hips. And it's a little bit more interest. Hold tight. Hold tight to that weight. Come down and tap. Come back up. Chili, good, so chili, 
today, soup. Um, I got a rotisserie chicken yesterday, and my husband got it at Costco, and I had chicken Caesar salad for lunch yesterday, and then I proceeded to, and then I proceeded to put the chicken in the crock pot, and I'm going to make vegetables, I mean not vegetable soup, chicken noodle soup for dinner. I think it's good to bake cookies, what do y'all think? <laughs> I eat early, Jan. I'm telling you, I, I get hungry around 5. 5.30, I'm calling my husband to dinner. He's like, it's 5.30. I'm like, I'm hungry. So we're serving up that soup, that chili. Eggs. We're squeezing my shoulders. Stretch, push down, up. Bring that toe way up. Now 
I was so thankful to Sharon that I really, really appreciate that recipe. I don't, I do not like to cook last minute. You know, who does? I mean, and you're, there's some things you're going to have to cook last minute on Thanksgiving Day, but if you can plan ahead, hold it, hold it. Like your mashed potatoes, for example, you can make those a day or head, a day or two ahead. If you put sour cream or um, plain yogurt or um, you know, sour cream or what else? Sour cream or yogurt in there. Um, and then stick it in the oven to warm it up. And they come out nice and smooth with your mashed potatoes. so fun. I'm blowing you a kiss, honey. I'm blowing you a kiss. All right, get your bands, guys. We're going to pull. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I've got to get on that computer this afternoon and put out a mass text to everyone who's coming to our house for Thanksgiving and to say, what are you bringing? This is what I need. <laughs> Stay here. Yeah, on the deck. On the, in the screen and porch. If it was pretty. If it was, I mean, who knows? It's crazy weather. It could be, right? Right, Charlene? It could be warm. Charlie, don't say that. Don't say no. Whose side are you on anyway? It's called class loyalty. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's getting foggier out there, isn't it? Oh, man, that hurt. Not hurt. I mean, that worked our muscles, didn't it? All right, let's punch. Make sure that band is way back there before you do your punches. Excellent. So we really work the upper body hard in this class. Why? Because we use our upper body so much to load our laundry, unload our laundry, load our dishwasher, unload our dishwasher, pick up, straighten up, and you can really work that lower body by just walking, going for a walk, walking around this track. That upper body is so important to keep strong and healthy. Push and push. Stretch out those hamstrings. Switching once again to the lower body, choking up on that band, and heel out. You can really feel the stretch down those hamstrings. Circle. Very nice, making those circles. Now hold and come up a little bit higher. Whoa, you should feel a better stretch. Bless you. And lower. Now the leg. Make sure that vein is right across that arch. And pull it tight so it doesn't slip. up. Cobbler's or anything for Thanksgiving. She told me a couple years ago, Mom, I just want cookies. I like chocolate chip cookies. That's what I like. So now I've got to figure out when to make chocolate chip cookies. Right, you need 
dressing balls. I'm a freezer girl.
forgiven.